So this is a, an Epiphone parlor guitar with a capo on the second fret and I'm standard tuning. I just came up with this neat little di neat sounding ditty. It was fun. It's fun to play fun stuff. Who'd have thunk it? So, um, listening to a lot of soundtracks lately, uh, Nick Cave's um, soundtrack stuff that he does with his uh, songwriting buddy, partner, I can't remember his name, Warren Ellis. Uh, they did a really good soundtrack 12, 13 years ago called for the, uh, the um, Billy the Kid. Was that? Bone of Brad Pitt where uh, he got shot in the back. It's a good, good film and um, great soundtrack. In one very poignant scene, Nick Cave is in there and he's singing about uh, the guy that shot Billy the Kid in the back. Is Billy the Kid? I can't remember this stuff. What the hell's wrong? Anyways, the assassination of Billy Kid by the cowardly Robert Ford, something like that. And so that music's kind of insolent to me. Makes me think of the desert around Kamloops and, you know, trains and horses and Spencer's Bridge and stuff like that, you know. And back then they would have carried a little part of guitar and had fun. And, sweat like crazy. Another really good soundtrack I like is um, for um, Damon Alburn did it and it's uh, Ravenous. The movie Ravenous came out in 98 or 99 with uh, Guy Pierce, and uh, it's about cannibalism and Robert Carlyle. He's great. He's so good in it. So it's a, it's a hidden gem, but uh, Damon Alburn did the soundtrack to it, and it's good. It's, you know, it's a good little soundtrack. I really quite appreciate um, these reinterpretations of Western songs. It's really cool. So anyways, there you go. A little uh, sneak peek into how a song gets written. I just literally just... I don't really sit and consciously write stuff. I just sort of jam out. And then if sometimes if you're lucky, you'll find a cool rhythm and a cool pattern, and then you just sort of build it into a song. So I'm excited to see where that's going to go. It's going to need lyrics, of course, and some more structuring. But um, yeah, if you're lucky, you can just pull something out of the air like that. And then work it into a cool song. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a hit. I don't know. A long time ago, I wrote a song called For the People.
and uh, Terrence Armstrong used to sing over it. it. Sounded so good. I still got some good live recordings of it from being on the road and touring. And, uh, it's a shame he died. Ugh. I'm at the age where so many of the people I used to know in Jam are dead. It's life, I guess. Anyways, old uncle says take care and thanks for dropping by and supporting Patreon and giving me hugs and don't send me any lint chocolate. None. L-I-N-D-T. White milk chocolate. Don't send me any. Because I hate it. See you next time.